Well, this was interesting. I, I mentioned that I'd uh, seen a uh, a village off in the distance in DM James's world, but hadn't um, actually properly mapped it. Well, okay. Looks like there's actually two of them. One of which I hadn't even noticed until I went looking to take a closer look at this one. Like, uh, somewhere off that way. There's another one. But the one that I was looking at, I think, is this one here. Why do I think it's this one? Because of the placement. See, see how far south I am? I was about this far south when I, when I spotted a village. But due to the fact that I wasn't, you know, really looking for villages, I decided to mentally annotate the location and come back later. So, what do we have in this village? Mostly just basic houses. However, there's a whole lot of stuff. Like, it's pretty big for something that's mostly just basic houses. Like, you have this thing here, which is one of the few things that's not, you know, just a house. But eh, there's not much to it. Have here we have a, a uh, brick maker, and yeah, that was that's it. All all those are the only two buildings up here that aren't houses. Lots of pumpkins in this area. Hmm. All right, well let's go take a look at some of the other stuff and then go home because this is a long ways from home. Uh, that's another house. I have a lot of hay stored up here. Um, that's a, just another house. There's another pile of hay. Oh look, even more pumpkins. Hey, what's that? Oh, I think those are sunflowers. Those green things. Ooh, the cave. I actually found two caves that are part of the village. <laughs> Weird. Let's see, I think I looked in this building and it was something boring. Oh right, it's the archery building. So, one of the uh, villagers makes arrows. He also buys sticks. Which is neat because sticks are super plentiful. Dummy. Ah, this is the brick maker. Dummy. Nope. Nope. Ah, here we have the uh, the Fletcher guy. Yeah, 32 sticks for one emerald. Um, that's a lot of sticks, but as easy it is to get sticks. Eh. Anyways, my boat is all the way down there. So let's get moving. Well, like I said, most of the stuff in this village is just houses. Huh? What did I just pick up? Huh. But it was rotten flesh. Here we have a fenced in area which they're not actually using for anything. Although it is properly designed. Okay, random house. Actually, you know what? I will take a quick sleep. Wait, what is this guy? 
Oh, hello, a leather worker. Hmm, well, I can't trade with him right now. More houses. If you look closely, one of these houses is a bit different than the others because when I first got here, a uh, creeper exploded. Oh yeah, smelting place. You think that having a blast furnace, well, I don't know. One of the villagers uses that. Yeah, this is the house that got exploded. Whoops. Just didn't blow up though. Or the bed. That's good. Oh, let's see here. Let's see what we have here. Oh, the leather worker. And a farmer who does beets and uh, wheat. Both of which are buy uh, options and uh, makes them easy to level up. Villagers that are hard to level up are the ones that only have sell options. But yeah, that's it for this village. I have to say, it's a lot of village. It really is. Going all the freaking way up there. Wow. Oh, that's an uh, extremely pointy mountain. Anyway, though, time to get back home. Because, you know, going places, seeing things, half the fun is going home. And in this case, demonstrating how to actually get there. So if you look at the map, I did not come here from the north or the south. In fact, south of here, I don't know what's south of here. I came from the east. Because I think what I saw when I first identified that there was a village here was like these few houses because I was like way over there somewhere just scanning the horizon with a telescope. Didn't get close enough to notice that there was any significant number of them. And especially didn't realize that it's mostly just houses. Oh well. Would be a place you could easily add a few things to um, encourage the villagers to uh, take up new trades. Yeah, this ocean area here, I found some stuff under the ocean, but I'm not really sure how... Oh, yeah, that ocean monument. There's the ocean monument. I don't feel like messing with the guardians. I don't know if the guardians respawn or not, but... Eh. They're a pain. And they will attack you just for getting uh, too close to the monument. Monuments have a lot of fun stuff in them, though. So, the loot... Well, actually, the loot's not really that great. Oh, yeah. Interesting shape rock. Or hill. Whatever. Okay, so looking at the map, uh, you see that I have um, completely gone off the uh, marked area. Yeah, basically just go north. <sighs> Unfortunately, I forgot to bring the second sheet, which is the southeast part of the map. But as long as I just go north, I'll get where I'm going. If I'm actually going north. This feels like I'm going west. Yeah, because uh, this is actually the way that goes to the uh, uh, other village. See? This one here. Uh, this feels like Sinetti has been here. Or I guess DM James. Anyway. 
But yeah, it's like it has. Uh, hmm. Well, it has at least one interesting looking building. So let's go take a quick look. Oh, I, okay, this is bigger than it, it looked at first. So this might actually be a better village than the one I was just at. Hmm. Seriously? Really? You've got to be stinking kidding me. Okay. This seriously takes the cake for insane village design. Like, holy crap. I've seen insane village designs before. I, uh, the one I was just at is something that I would personally consider to be an insane design. But this one, having a fall to your death fissure uh, going straight through the center of town. I mean, uh, from a um, uh, story, perspective, one could say that uh, uh, town wasn't always like this, blah blah blah. Uh, earthquakes happen. I mean, kind of works. Ooh, gold. Not much fit. A brewing stand. Hmm. I don't know. I will leave it here for now. That the worst part about villages with insane designs like this is that sometimes they actually have houses down there. This one doesn't appear to have a house in it, but... So, let's see here. That black sheet, yep. Here we have a second witch's tower. Again, nice brewing stand. Problem with these witch's towers always is that while there's the brewing stand, do you have the materials to make the brewing stand work? Well, I don't right now. Okay, so that is the low part. The area that is, you know, bottom floor next to the ravine. So let's go up a little ways. Random house. Yeah, one thing I've noticed is that certain house designs just don't have treasure chests in them. But 
That looks like one of them. So I'll leave it alone. Oh, let's see what this farm roll has. Oh, uh, you can buy bread from him or sell him carrots. Hmm. So there's three witch towers here. Oh, this is a, a witch who uh, buys rotten flesh from you. Well then. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Uh, well, you know, it doesn't look like there's any loot in there, so... Mm -hmm. And again, that thing. Those are very uh, useful as waypoint markers. Alrighty then. It's a smoker. That's nice. Don't see anything of any, you know, value for swiping. So, but yeah. That would be what's in this village. Now that question of which village is better. Mm. Neither one of them has a good variety of stuff. Like, the one I found has several different kinds of businesses. Farmers and a few other crafts like a leather worker and brick maker. This one has three witches. Okay, wait, I parked the boat. I think I parked the boat over here. Because I was using as a reference point the uh, cross because it's easily visible and remembering what angle I was at relative to the cross. Alrighty then, so back out this way. Instead of coming into this uh, inlet, should have just kept going up the coast to get back home. It's actually nearly uh, perfectly north if you if you hit the right um, angle, but I felt like taking a little detour and uh, looking at that. Also, uh, one of the rest stops that I built is along this coastline. Ah, there it is. See the uh, burning roof right there. Yeah, that's a useful place if you need to stop and sleep through the night. Again, this is a lot of ocean here. And like I said, I have glimpsed what I believe are ruins under the ocean, although I haven't really spent a whole lot of time trying to um, verify that.
That is the remains of a tree someone cut down. Because Minecraft rules, cutting the bottom three quarters of a tree down doesn't actually, you know, make the whole thing come down. And here we have a farming plantation. Yeah, this is just a uh, old busted nether portal, but behind it's a plantation. This uh, site is one where I personally uh, ripped apart the site, cut out some of the obsidian, removed every piece of nether rack I could find, and magma. Nice plantation, honestly. All it says on the door is pumpkin patch, but what else? I like how the, how they uh, put in like decorative pieces of orange wood to uh, add a little color to the building instead of just you know going with solid oak. Makes a nice artistic touch. And over here we have the canal. Why dig a canal? Because I can't boat through a desert made out of solid sand. Don't work. I mean, building a minecart track is a maybe, but uh, those are expensive. I'm working on building a, a canal going east, but I haven't finished it yet. I think this is the fourth time Maybe fifth, I've gone past that stupid rabbit. It somehow got stuck in the water. I'm probably going to end up kill killing it at this point because the rabbit is not pathfinding to safety. Why is there a black banner here? Did ODGM leave this here? He trying to encourage pillagers to raid us. I mean, could. Oh well. Anyways, azalea tree. The squids. The stupid squids sometimes beach themselves and die, which means free black ink. Mangrove trees. Massive. Oh, and another azalea. Nether portal, several villagers, cats, and golems have wandered into the nether portal and gotten lost in the nether. Fortunately, there's a building on the, on the other side to keep them from wandering off and getting lost in the nether, but yeah, they're in the nether. Oh, you know what, I'll do a quick little tour. Here is a small, um, I guess I'm going to call it a botanical garden, because it's not really a greenhouse since it's just a plot of dirt with a roof, but you know. Here's my attempt at making a um, stained glass ceiling. You can't use flat panes horizontally. Minecraft refuses to allow it. I could, however, do do something similar uh, vertically, though. Hmm. Yeah, I need to face the ceiling here. I want to put the uh, the ceiling on this uh, particular room out of um, deep slate, but haven't gotten the deep slate yet. Oh yes. Dripstone spikes don't need to be on drip blocks. Okay, well... That's useful to know. Um, thanks.
But yeah, it's like the dripstone spikes are harder to find than the actual dripstone. The one place I found dripstone, I found several dozen dripstone and only, I think, a grand total of, I think, six or eight spikes. Not much. Did I finally manage to get that stupid villager to leave? Oh, he's not in here. I didn't see him in my room either. Or maybe he got lost in the nether portal. But anyways. So. That would be the tour. See you guys later.